princess, what you are asking to do is very difficult. And it will cost me not just being sad, but the king will be sure I want to be here. I will not let anything of such happen. But your father is a resolute king. I know who my father is. I know how he is. But listen, I can never do anything that would jeopardize your child. I will reward you with hands. There a while ago. The way she? She was there a while ago. Go to her bathroom and check. Please check, check her in the bathroom. Let me check. My queen, she's not there. Buy her number. Okay. Switch off. What? That her number again. My queen, same thing. So what do we do? Okay, my queen, let me go and check her out. I think she's somewhere. Go, 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 go quickly, go. Stop, I'm coming after you. Seem to be taking time. Oh, it does, it does. Uh, do not worry. She will soon be here. You know, my daughter likes to take some time to prepare, mm -hmm. especially in occasion like this. Uh, uh, that will take a little uh, while. Right, right. She would like to do that. <laughs> I'm ready to do whatever you ask for. Okay. 
don't love it. You don't desire me. So what's the point? That's not true. Really? Yes. More than anything in this world. They'll prove it. fall in love with you, with the so-called prince. Eh? To what end? What do you mean by that? You and I know that her father will never accept you as his son-in-law. My you don't have to Who will get there? Yes, I'm talking to you. No longer safe. Anyone could just walk into the palace and kidnap me or any member of my family without you fools knowing of it. Oh. Really? So I've been feeding and paying Umoko Kos all this while. Look, fools. I know my daughter got help from one of you. I will find out. Pray to the God that you will still be here by the time I do. Pray that my daughter returns. Otherwise, I will ruin you and ruin your families. Get out! I believe you are kissing. Yes, I'm kissing. Oh. 
the one that has been holding the door like that. As if she's your prison. No. How could you? Did you take a look at yourself? A hunter. Maybe you think she will live by the spoils you get in the bush. You that is a shadow of yourself. Just look at you. What is giving you the moral? What is giving you the nerve to think you can have a princess? I beg you the interest. Undo everything, every voodoo you're using to manipulate her. Because the Margaret I see is not in her right frame of mind. You are manipulating her. With all due respect to your majesty, I did not do anything to you, daughter. Shut up. Shut your stinking mouth. Idiot. I didn't come here to trade words with you. Hey, I believe you're his mother. And you have a huge influence on Max's mother. Tell him to stay away from me. Because my husband, the king of the world, is not a man you can joke with. Is not a man you can toy with. Stay away from the door because you will not be alive. Do not live to regret it. Stay away from her. She is not your match. She is not your class. Body your son in his interest and in your interest. Let us wait for the doctor to arrive here. If he arrives, the routine check will determine. Uh, I should get a towel and give her a cold press. Just calm your nerves until the doctor arrives. Yes, Nana. She's fine. Um, I asked her to get me her first reading of the day for test tomorrow. Oh, yes. Um, I gave her some drugs. Please make sure she takes them. Very important. So that we can know where the problem is. I have to take my leave. Yes, my queen. I, I did that the moment I stepped into the palace. That's impressive. So, oh, how is her health status? She's fine. She's doing well. You see, I the moment I submitted the sample to the lab, they went through it and the result came out this morning. So, 
What is the result like? Uh, my queen, it may interest you to know that the princess is pregnant. What? What? Is this your kind of joke? So, Doctor, are you really serious about this? Yes, my queen. The princess is pregnant. I gave you everything good life has to offer. You received the best education from one of the most prestigious schools in the world. Getting pregnant. Sorry, Dad. Out of hand, Esther. Uh, I am talking about your friend with Dennis. I know he will not be happy if he gets to hear something about this. There is thunder in the sky already. This situation has messed my plans.
Greetings, my queen. You sent for me. You can leave us. Always, you are the only one amongst all the staff in this royal palace closest to the family. And as such, you are not ignorant of the situation at hand. I want that to remain within the family. If any other person, apart from the family member, hear about this, I will personally hold you responsible. I do not like the outcome. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my queen. My queen, I will never ever betray you or Princess Margaret. Trust me, my queen. You can go back to your choice. Okay, my queen. Mom, I can't do it. You have to do it, Margaret. You don't understand the shame will never wipe away if you chose not to do it. In fact, it's a way of making things right between you and your father. Because as he stands now, he's very angry and disappointed at you. The marriage between you and Prince Walter must hold. I don't love him. Why are you people trying to force me to marry a man I have absolutely no atom of feelings for? Margaret, you don't marry who you love. You love who you marry. Is that about you and this marriage? It's about preserving the throne. How do you mean? Your father has no male child. If you marry Prince Walter, you two will rule as king and queen. And when you give birth to his son, he will take over when he becomes of age. If not, we lose our hold over the throne. Is that what you want for us? Mom, you don't expect me to just go under the knife. What about my health? What if I don't come out? Of course you will come out. Even if it means us flying you abroad to do it. We will do it. So that that fool get off the way. By the way, he must not know about the pregnancy. Is that clear? Hasten up and do the need for. His teaching time saves nine. You sent for me. Why have you sworn to be reckless or true in life? What have I done? Where have I gone wrong again? You knew our plans. Why did you boggle him for time? But I still don't understand what you're talking about. Where's God to me that Princess Margaret is pregnant? pregnant? How could you be so, 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 so reckless? Pregnant? You heard me. But I have never laid my hands on Margaret. Neither have I slept in the same room with her. How can she be pregnant? Who got her pregnant? Are you saying you're not responsible for her pregnancy? But I swear on my life, I have never seen that place before.
I am so sorry for what I made you pass through. The pains and humiliation. Being sorry is not relevant, my love. What do we do? Because we stand the risk of losing this child if I continue to stay in that palace. Except you have no problem with that. We can lose this child. So what do we do? Time is running out and I can't hold them off for too long. I cannot ask you to come and stay in my place because she's not safe there either. Except... Except what? I don't know if you like the idea. Just say it. Have you talked to some senses in the Majesty senses? I don't know. There are some people that say me to that. And uh, did she agree to it? As if you don't know how stubborn you are, I don't care. All I know is that she must terminate that pregnancy. Whether she agrees or not. Even if it means dragging her myself to the hospital. I'll do that to ensure she does the Well, um, the doctor will be here for one to proceed. But dragging her to the hospital will be a problem. Your Majesty, I think you have a point there. She's not inside. What about her son? He's not inside either. Woman, where is the princess and your useless son? Amaron, I have told you I don't know. It has been long the princess came here. I've not seen her. Eh? I woke up this morning, I did not see my son. I thought she has gone for his usual hunting, not Jalonta. I looked around, I saw he's gone. I went into his room, I did not see his clothes. Am I Romo? Mm. It's okay. We will find him. And when we do, <laughs> when we do, he will regret being born. Let's go. Let's go! We searched everywhere, but we couldn't find her. We also went to the boy's house. His mother told us that he's also gone. What? Yes. Will you look to my daughter? Yes, Your Majesty. Ah! Margaret! How could you? How could you do this to your own parents, Margaret? You do of you do. Greetings, Your Majesty. You never told us you are coming. Cut that out. Was that why you hid your daughter's philandering nature from me? I don't understand. Of course you do. So you knew all the while that your daughter has been a social misfit? 
and you made me believe otherwise. She even got pregnant, you couldn't mention it to me. Uh, yeah, well, 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 I believe that this is something that will get worked out. There's nothing to work out because I've come here to let you know that I have severed the relationship between you and I and between your kingdom and my kingdom. Yes, I cannot associate myself with a family that is being left of honor. Never! But well, if you do, then you know, be more of the rush. Magre has wrecked my boat. In time, Magre has decked me. Mm. That's right. Henceforth, she ceases to be called my daughter. I don't want her name to be mentioned anywhere around this palace. The mention of her name is considered an abomination. I have decreed. No, my husband. I beg you. I beg you. That's rather too harsh a thing to say about your own child. She's just being foolish. Thinking like a child she is. Very soon she will come back to her senses. Please, I beg you. Thank 
you so much. I love you with everything in me. I promise to make money and take care of you and our unborn child. I have to do something about these two people. This foolishness is getting out of hand. How can a beautiful girl like my daughter be this foolish? When her mates are busy getting married to rich men, she is here wasting her life with this stupid vagabond. Someone offended her in the market. Are you sure? Yes. Because the look on her face, I don't know. Is either someone offended her or oh I remember. I think she's hungry. Whenever my mom is hungry, that's how she used to excuse her face so that she can rush and attack that food with all her cream money. Uh, mm. Mm, I think I think you're right. Mm. That face is like a hungry man's face. It's true. You know, they say a hungry man is an angry man. Yes, yes. Whenever you're hungry, you're angry. It's true. I hope there's something for her to eat too. Yes, now. From the food I gave you, now, I've, I've made food since. Okay, there's some for her? Yes, I kept for her. Okay. No problem. Oh, this one. No. Is this one. I've not do this one. Okay, this one. Mm. Tell me on the ground. And then I'll... Hey, my love, my love. It's not real. Okay? It's just a nightmare. <sighs> You'll be fine, okay? Come on, let's go back to sleep. Come on. Go. Fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Oh my god, oh my god. Just hold yourself, okay? What is this? What happened? <laughs> what is this? God has finally decided to remember us. Hey. And he has proven himself to be a faithful God. We know. What happened? Okay. You remember the contract being that I submitted two months ago at the Ministry of Social Amenities? Oh, yes. Uh, the one you said that was given to someone else. Exactly. You're right. They discovered that this guy brought his way into the ministry. What? And the contract was terminated. Really? Yes! Then I was at the shop. A call came in. Guess who called? The commission. He asked me to come to his office immediately. When I got there, he asked me to start the supply of the furniture. Yes, with the upfront of 10 million naira. <laughs> Don't you want more money? Honey! 
do you, you see? You see what I always tell you? You said it. I said, don't worry. God is in control. Oh, baby. <laughs> This called what? celebration. Good afternoon. This guy helped me get this log of wood on my head. Okay. This is too heavy for a lady like you now. Don't you have brothers to help you out? No, I don't have. This is too heavy. It's very heavy. You know, uh, where are you taking it to? To Ezinta. Ezinta? You intend to carry this heavy load to Ezinta? All that I do now, I'm helping my mom. It's too much. <laughs> Let me help you. Go Thank you so much. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, ma. Thank you once again. You're welcome. I was just standing there not knowing what to do. I had to carry that big log of food. Then God sent you my way. <laughs> it's alright. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> You're a good man. Thank you. Um, I've not seen you around this village before. Yeah, that's because I school in the city. School okay. of nursing. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. We're on holiday, so I decided to come help my mom out. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. My name is Ogechi. Ogechi for short. Forgive my manners. <laughs> my name is Chinedu. <laughs> okay, Chinedu. I'll, I want to prepare Ofe day with Oali later in the day. <laughs> I would love to show some appreciation. No, you don't need to bother. Don't worry, you don't need to bother. Come on, I insist. I'd love you to come around. Okay? Please. All right. If you insist. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, how are you enjoying your holidays? As you can see, I'm enjoying it. I have you. Um. Thank you so, so much for that wonderful meal. I mean, it's been long I had such a delicious food. Seriously. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Of course, I do. That's the least I could prepare. For real? Of course. You mean you can do better? Mm-hmm. Wow. So, what are you, a chef or a nurse? I just love cooking, that's all. And I like eating. <laughs> for real, I do. <laughs> Um, please, when next you prepare such a delicious meal, don't hesitate to call me. I will. It's not like I, I, I eat outside though, but I can, I can always eat your food. <laughs> yes. Oh? Okay. And thanks for the zobo. You're huh? welcome. To think that you prepare this. <laughs> I love it too. That's nice. I'm glad you did. Um, I have to run along now. Now that I have your contact, I will always give you a call. Okay. And thank you once again. You're welcome. See ya. My love have no boundaries. I'm wearing a bandage. 
It's okay. It's okay. All right. All right. Hey, who is she? Ah, she's amazing. What does she mean by you? And why was she looking at you that way? Um, anyway, um, I helped her drop a lot of food on her head the other day. Um, she was stranded by me. And ever since then, she can't stop taking me any kind of season. That's all. That's all. What do you mean? That's all. Not more. She need you. She need you. I'm telling you the truth, of course. Your face is not saying the same thing with your mom. Your ha. face is saying something with your mom. Nothing, nothing. Wow. That's good. That's is that why she just saw you and said, I'm sure you have a kind of sketch. Even when I was trying to show her that I'm here, please stop saying it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 an emergency. Yes, I was using it to chop firewood. It's near my leg. Please come. Okay, thank you. First time we met. And, and you had to write to me just to do me in. I needed to get you to call me immediately. That was the only idea that came to my head. You are a girlfriend. And, and I promised never to teach on her. Ah. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I promise. Please forgive me.
honey, come on. What are we here to oh, see? Hold on, hold on. Honey, what are we here to see? Have this. What's this? Open it. What? It's a lie. It's true. No, no, you're joking, I'm right? Not, I'm not joking, baby. It's for real. You bought this house? Yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! What? Under one year? Yeah. How did you do it? I told you I am a hunter. Okay? I target. I know how to hunt for treasure. I know how to hunt for treasure, you know? And I go for big things. I can see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How? Baby, see, you made it happen. Without you, we wouldn't go this far. You know. You made it happen. <laughs> okay, I'm blushing. But that is the job of a woman in a man's life. To make you more prosperous right. and increase his wealth. You're right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. You like it, eh? I love it. Mm -hmm. Good. This I'm is happy good. you love it. So, does he have a kitchen? I knew it. I was waiting for that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask me for that kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> of, of course. course. <laughs> Come show me. And show a kitchen me. here. Show and a very big kitchen. Me. <laughs> That man called Patrick. That man is very tricky. Just like the trick in his name. I'm telling you. What did you do? You remember that lad you contracted me to uh, uh, clear for him? Do you know that man was begging me to do that land with 10,000 naira? And I accepted it. Really? Only for me to realize that he was paid heavily for the project. Ah! ah that's pure wickedness. I'm telling you, that man is very wicked. How did you find him? I was at the site yesterday, walking. When the man came, I was so bitter. Complained that, why should I be the only one walking on the site? That he paid heavily for the project. I'm telling you. My love, pity your call, man. This one has been raining. I used to pick it. Don't worry, it's a little bit. Wait, is this not the same forget you met days ago that you said you have nothing to do with? Uh, she's the one. But I don't have anything to do with her. Mm. I swear, I don't have anything to do with her. I don't have anything to do I don't have anything, no, nothing, eh, I swear. I don't have anything to do with her. You lied, she did. You're a big liar. Why are you not taking your calls? And what business do I have with you? Oh, what business do you have with me? You want to hit me and clean my house? Eh? Chinedu, what did she just say? I don't even understand what she's saying, my love. I don't even understand what she's saying. She's just blabbing. You don't know what I'm talking about, Chinedu. When you were busy eating the food that you had with my hands, and the one between my legs, what were you expecting? Eh? For your information, I went to the hospital and I was told that I am pregnant. You bloody liar! What are you blabbing? Chinedu, so this is what you've been doing behind me? My love, I don't understand what she's saying. Shut up. I should have known all this. Ego. Chinedu. Ego. Chinedu. You come back here and meet me. Talk to Mama now. Hey! Mama, and this is our home. My husband bought it. Hey! Casey! Casey! We need a year. 
you bought this house. Omaka, Omaka, Omaka. Please, it's not like a village match. I was thinking how good of you could go. Eh? I let them know that you were in the village. Who made you a woman? Hi, hi. Mama, you see, I am sorry for everything, okay? We had no option and to leave, but I'm sorry the way we left. But well, I thank God for everything. Today is where we are. Mama, you're not the hair. Let me take it to your room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love the way you look now, eh? <laughs> yeah. 